Hello, everyone. This is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. Today, I'm going to show you how to make paper stencils for pottery. If you want to learn more about my pottery process, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. First, I need to draw out the stencil. I'm using the program called Adobe Illustrator to draw out my pictures. Here you can see that I'm drawing a picture of a tree using the pencil tool. Illustrator is a paid program. If you don't want to pay for it and just want to try it out, you can use a free program called Factinator. After drawing out my tree, I want to fill it in with black with no outline. Then I move the two trees together. I can make more trees by doing copy and paste and resizing it to look like they are different trees. For this specific design, I want to make sure that the trees are touching each other so when I'm cutting it, they are together. Right now, I have a couple of different trees of different sizes, so that looks good to me. Next, I want to group them together so that they are one shape. So I select all the trees and then I use the Pathfinder tool and merge them together. Now you see that they are one shape. Then I export and export as an SVG file to use in Cricut. After you have saved the file on your computer, you want to open up the Cricut Design Space and upload your file. Find your file from the computer and upload it. The design is looking great, so I'm going to upload this file and insert it into the Design Space. After the Design Space finished uploading, then I see all these little specks that I don't want to cut, so I ungroup the image and select the little specks and click Delete. Now we're only left with one image, which is what we want. Then we resize it. I want it to be 5 cm tall. Then I click on Contour and I see the little space in between the trees. I don't want to cut that, so I'm going to click those little space. All of them, highlight them all. After finishing that, click the X and now I'm leaving with just one image. Now we are ready for cutting. I'm using regular printer paper and a standard grip mat. So I need to place my paper on the mat and make sure it is sticking really well. Next, I'm going to load my mat to my Cricut machine. I have the Cricut Explore 2. This is my first time cutting this design. So I'm going to use the just the paper setting for cutting. After adjusting my setting, I make sure that everything's good to go on my computer. Then I press the C button on my machine, then it should start cutting. Looks like the design is cutting well. After it finished cutting, I need to unload the mat and remove the paper from the mat. I actually made a mistake here because as you can see, the blade did not cut through the paper. So that means I need to put it back to the machine again. After I put it through the second cutting, it's looking great. So now I just need to remove the tree from the paper. I'm using a pointy tool that comes with the machine to remove the intricate design of the tree. Here's the final look of the paper stencil. The stencil is looking a bit long, so I'm going to cut it in half. You'll see why later on. Here's the bowl I'm going to use the design on. It's already best fire. I'm just applying black underglaze on it. I need to wait till the underglaze is dry before I put the stencil. First, I quickly dip the paper stencil into the water so it will stick to the bowl nicely. As you can see, the bowl is curved. That's why I need to cut the stencil into smaller pieces. After I finish with the stencil, I'm putting on Amarco's Obsidian Glaze all over the outside and inside of the bowl. After the black is dried, I'm using Amarco's Indigo Flow 
to paint the top rim of the bowl. I'm painting it on the outside and inside rim. Other than indigo flow, I also paint smoky merlot underneath the band of indigo flow. Here's the result everyone. The color of the trees is just black under glaze. That's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.